Hello YouTube. Today we're gonna to actually gonna be doing some tuning on the power commander for the 2008 TRX 700XX. Okay, that's what we're gonna be doing. So I got my laptop right here, and we're gonna be basically turning this bad boy on and making sure that the throttle position sensor is correct. So that's what we're gonna be doing right now. So stay tuned. Okie dokie, so now I connected the Power Commander 5, keys um, is connected, you see the power meter, I got the USB connection on the side, I pulled a little, little guy on the side here that protects it from getting a bunch of uh, dirt in there and stuff. So now it's connected, you make sure you pressed in real nice and tightly, light is connected here. Once you have this uh, screen up right here, you have to download this onto your computer. You have to click on the Power Commander 5 right here. And you'll hear like a yee -hee, like a little sound like that. That means that it's transferred back and forth, right? So that means that the, these two are talking to each other. And that's going to be your graphs, okay? And you can adjust this stuff. Now, what I've noticed is that on my pipe, it gets really hot like uh i mean you can see it turn turn red uh just like the factory um sometimes would so um just from my experience of dealing with cars and that kind of stuff it's if you know if your temperatures are really hot like that and your pipe is starting glowing at idle you're running a lean a little bit lean mixture now this particular uh tune was tuned by sparks racing curtis spark and that's what it's set up for right so it's a pre-tune and, and obviously it is you see all the you know all the stuff all the corrections right and the bike runs good at full throttle but at idle it stumbles a little bit sometimes it doesn't want to stay running and one thing that i've realized is that here in atlanta georgia where i'm at specifically here um, right, i'm right about 900 feet of elevation and curtis parts is at zero elevation so um so what I'm looking here is at the idle, um, it looks like it's uh, negative, they're taking gas away. So it's negative 20. That means it's less fuel than what factory would be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add fuel to the bike because, um, you know, I, I want it to idle a little better. So that's what I'm going to do. So that's my whole purpose of doing this right now. Now, looks like my throttle, everything is working like it's supposed to. Uh, once I turn on the bike, you'll see uh, how that, that works. Hundred percent works back. Hundred percent works back. So all that's working like it's supposed to. So we're gonna turn on the bike and, and go from there. All right, guys. So everything's connected. I gotta just let y'all know. And I was doing some runs, and I didn't take a video. And I, I suck for that but basically what, what I was having is that the pipe was turning really red glowing red and it, it would turn it on and it would turn off turn off so with a lean pipe only with a pipe like that red and a bike turning off that's that's lean position condition so I was wondering because this thing comes with a tune already right so and it, the tune is there obviously the tunes all in there but um, my issue was at 1500 uh, RPMs or 1250, 1000, you know, idle, which is zero um, um, throttle position, it was just lean. So, just thinking that over there in California where this bike, where this, where this little guy was tuned at, it's zero elevation. Uh, at the specific spot where um, Curtis Parks tunes his stuff. So at zero elevation, um, he had negative 20 on fuel. So he was taking out 20% basically of fuel at zero. Over here at 900 feet of elevation, it is a difference. So um, I went ahead and just adjusted the trims and I adjusted the trims um, at everything that was at idle. So 0% throttle, I went from negative 20 to negative eight. And that is where the bike liked it the most. That's where I saw the idle would clean up, you know, more smoother, and the pipe turned from 
being glowing red to just a regular color, just hot. So um, at that point, that's what I did. I accelerated, I drove the bike a little bit, and yeah, she's she's uh, way better. Um, it just just doesn't turn off and doesn't you know idles better. So that's what I did. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on now. So I can kind of hear her, but. way better and um, and it does a lot better and there's my so now I'm, I'm negative eight so I'm still taking fuel away um, but uh, a lot less than what I was from the initial two uh, so those are the ones that I adjusted zero negative eight negative eight negative eight all the way down right I left everything from you know from uh, once you start getting percentage of throttle, so 2% throttle, 5% throttle, 10, 15, I left all that the way it was, you know, item tuned. And if I if I want that to change, I'm gonna take it to a dyno and have that done there, where uh, they can. Uh, yeah, it's it's perfect. Before it would when it, it would come down from from uh from from you know ripping the throttle like that it would just uh it would blah, 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 like almost want to turn off so uh, it ain't doing that anymore it's idling like it's supposed to it's coming off throttle like it's supposed to and it's just that's it great so uh yeah guys that's what i did um any questions let me turn this off any questions you got please definitely you know, just post them on, on YouTube and I'll be able to, uh, more than happy to answer all the questions. But yeah, those are my tables. Like I was saying, anything past that point, all those, I will leave that to a dyno where they can actually trace it perfectly and, and do it or something with an air. You know, if I had an air free reading, a gauge I can put in there and I can adjust that. But um, my calculations, it, the bike's running way better and I'm loving it. So if you got any question, guys, just please post. And uh, any other videos you want to watch, anything you want me to do to the bike, like any any other questions, uh, let me know. Y'all have a good day, and we'll see you later.